Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I have a video for my sort of like a series but not really, I disbanded them together because I wanted them to be series but of what I'm reading this month, like fiction books and for the month of October I've, I've not only read, actually finished the books in like maybe like a week, I've also read two books one's a novel and one's a novella so novellas are a bit shorter so maybe it doesn't quite count maybe like one and a half but um i'm so pleased with myself but it's because i've been on holiday and because i've been away for two and a half weeks i've had so much time literally i've been reading like 100 pages over 100 pages a day and stuff because i've just had all this time to actually read and it's been amazing so yes without further ado i'll show you the books so this first one that i picked up in asda before I went on holiday and this one is called Trial by Fire and this one is by Josephine Angelini and apparently she's the best selling author of a book called Star Cross so I've not read that book and I've never heard of her before but I love this book I read this book in maybe a couple of days and it was so good and this is the first one of a trilogy and this act book actually only came out this year and basically it's about a young girl called Lily, and I love that it's set like in Salem as well. I mean, this is modern day Salem, and um, she's a p allergic to like everything, like even just being outside, being in the world makes her like violently allergic. So she doesn't really have many friends at school. There's one guy that she's best friends with, she's also in love with, and they end up kissing and he invites her to a party um to a house party first house party she's been to and he leaves her alone and one of the guys ends up spiking a drink of alcohol and she ends up basically getting a temperature and having to be rushed to hospital and then when she looks for her best friend that she thinks that they're actually going to be dating she sees that he's copped off with someone else and so she's really um upset and basically she goes down by the ocean to sort of think about things that she hears this voice asking if she wants to get away from it all and she says yes then she ends up being transported to a different type of Salem but this Salem is not um it's not in the past it's some time in the future but it's not all futuristic as sort of elements of the past and the future in it and here it turns out that she's like a uh, this Lily is a really powerful witch and also what's interesting is that um, is that uh, there's another Lily already there and she's the one that sort of took her from her world, basically called Spirit Walking. And what uh, the concept that I really liked that I thought was really interesting is that there, there are obviously multiple different universes and like hundreds of different versions of ourselves in these universes and I find it really really interesting and so basically it's just, and also this Lily and this other Salem is hated because she's uh, evil well evil and hanging people and seeing the witchcraft is the only way and banishing the science and anything else and basically it's all about the, these uh, covens and 13 cities and everyone has like will stones um you should give them sort of like powers and it's just a really cool book i have not been excited being that excited about reading a book for ages it was such a good book i really really enjoyed it and so basically this book is part of the uh, it's going to be part of the world walker trilogy and the second book which is called trail of tears and it's the sequel to the trial of fire and apparently it's coming out in 2015 so yeah, I would definitely, I even love the artwork on the book, you probably can't see it because my light is like shining on it, but hopefully you can see that. But yeah, no, I, I, uh, it's just a really pretty book and I love, I love, I loved this book and it was so exciting. So yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend reading that, it was a really, really good book and I can't wait till the next one comes out. And then when I was shopping in Kroger with my dad, I was looking at the books and I saw this novella and I was drawn, I was my bookmark in there in case you wonder what that was, and I was drawn to, I was drawn to the cover. I was like, oh my god, this cover is so cool. And uh, then I looked and I saw it was a House of Night novella and a PC cast and Kirsten cast and I was like, oh my god, love reading any of her, any of their stuff. And so I, um, 
And so basically, and I really, really enjoyed this book. I basically read this book when I was coming home at the airport, so I had a few flights to get, so I was basically reading this as I was waiting in the airport for my flights, and I managed to read it all, like 150 pages, and I really enjoyed it. And basically, if I read the synopsis for you, it, um, basically from the sun and from the moon, two winged brothers are born, golden airbus, who is a playmate and a friend, and mysterious Colonna, who is a warrior and a lover, and uh, they're both companions of the goddess Nyx. And uh, from the first, the goddess, Nyx, uh, the goddess Nyx loves them both deeply but differently. With Airbus, she can talk and laugh and dance and take joy in the games he plays among the humans. With, and with Kelowna, the, the fire in her body burn, burns brightly and she can rest the solace of his, uh, in the solace of his strength and protection. But for Kelowna, Nyx's nights are not enough. And every second he's not with her, he's filled with doubt and longing. And every time he fails to please her, he cannot forgive himself, and he's ruled by anger and jealousy of his brother, and consumed by his love for the, for his goddess. He seeks the power to prove his worth and to claim once and for all that Nyx eternally belongs to him. And at the edges of the earth, a darkness is stirring, waiting for its chance for the doorway in through a heart that it knows will welcome it. So it's really, it's a really, really good book, and basically the um and Mother Earth plays a role in this as well as do the fae and it's just a re it was just a really good really good little read and it's what i like about reading novellas is that if you don't have time to read like a whole like 300 400 page novel it's nice to be able to pick something like this up that's at like half the size and just uh give it a good read and it's nice this is like hardback as well which is really cool and it's a nice size as well it's not really big chunky book so it fit in your handbag and stuff and apparently there are other and the other House of Night novellas, I don't have any of the other ones, but there's Dragon's Oath, Lubia's Vow, and Nefertiti's Curse. So yeah, so I would recommend this book as well, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I will stop rambling on as this has turned out longer than it should have done. But um, I just wanted to share what I've uh, read this month, in the month of October. And so look out for, oh sorry, I was getting cramp on my leg from being sat on the floor. But yeah, so look out for next month and see what I'm reading next month. And I will see you on my next video. Also, recommend below if you got any, if you are reading any book, good books or you know, or any of your favourite books or you know any books that you think that I'll like. Recommend them as I love being recommended books. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.